We're here to show you how to work the York County voting machines. This is the voting machine that all of York County uses. When you go into a polling place, you're going to sign the poll book like you've normally done. The poll worker is going to take a card like this. They're going to activate the card and give that card to you. When it's your turn to vote, you go up, you put that card in that slot, push it all the way in, and you will get a ballot. If you live in York City or Springettsbury 3, you have a choice of languages which you want to vote in. Uh, the other 141 polling places in York County automatically go to English. I will select English. This is a the ballot. Uh, it's not official yet, but it's we expect this to be what you'll be seeing on Election Day on November 4th. To be impartial, I will always vote for the top, where I will always select the top thing in each category um, throughout the whole ballot. The first thing you will see is Water and Sewer Improvement Bond Referendum. If you want to vote for that, you touch any place inside the rectangle where yes or no, whichever, or if you don't want to vote on that, you can just leave this blank and touch next. Your second screen is straight party voting. In Pennsylvania, this is required. Many, some states do not permit it. Pennsylvania requires it. If you're voting straight party, you're touching the screen one time and you're voting for all the candidates of that political party, whether it be Democrat, Republican, Independent, or Libertarian. They're the four parties that appear on this ballot, so they are the four parties that appear on straight party. Again, I'm just voting the top one. I hit next. You can see by the check mark that all the Democrats throughout the whole ballot are already selected for you. You can, if you want to, what's called splitting your ticket, where you vote for some Democrats, some Republicans, some Independents, some liber what, uh, various parties. You can leave this blank, touch next, and then you'll get into the regular ballot. At the top it tells you the office that you're voting on, and also it'll tell you how many votes you're allowed. This ballot happens to be a vote for one for everything, but some ballots where it might be a school board where you have five seats available and you have 12 people running for five seats, you may have five votes available. Again, this happens to be a vote for one for everything. Again, I'm always going to choose the top regardless of party or who it, the person is. If you say, ah, you know what, I, I didn't really intend to touch it, I touched it the wrong place, I got that check mark, I don't really want to vote for him. You can ch touch that area again, the check mark disappears, and now you can change your vote. And you can do that as often as you want. The other thing that you can do is, if you want to do a write-in vote, you touch write-in, you get either a typewriter or a computer keyboard, and you can type in the person's name. We'll vote for John Doe. Name appears up there. If it's misspelled, you can use your back arrow to erase and respell it. You do want to spell it correctly. When it's spelled the way you want it, you hit OK. And there it says, write in, John Doe has a check mark. John Doe got a vote. So I'm done with this screen. I come down, hit Next. This is your review screen. This shows you everybody you voted for. If it's red, that indicates you did not use your vote in that category. Uh, obviously, you do not have to use all your votes if you don't want to, but uh, that just points out that there is a vote there that you did not use. If you wanted to go use it, you could touch there. It will take you right back to that screen. Everything else remains the same. Um, say, um, you say, you know what, I changed my mind. I don't want to vote for uh, Robert McCord for state treasurer. Again, if you touch there, it will take you back to that screen. Now you can change your vote. Hit next. Your vote has changed. That's what I want. Hit next. This is your last ch chance to change your mind. You can hit review and go to back to the review screen, see who you're voting for. You can hit back and go back into the ballot. Or if you're happy, you touch there in the center. It records your vote. The card that you put in at the beginning will pop out. You take that, hand that back to the poll workers, and you go home. If you know how to use this machine and you know who you're voting for, it will take you about 30 seconds. If you have any questions or problems, 
ask the poll workers, they'll be able to help you.